did I marry? So this is when he showed me a letter from Chase with the Chase logo at the top stating that he had been approved for a mortgage for, excuse me, for a $750,000 mortgage or a $750,000 house. So he was like, we can't go over seven fifty. And I said, I remember asking him, can you afford the mortgage on a $750,000 house? Because I know I can. This is when he explains to me, I told you how I played arena football. I invested my money really well. So he said, I have money that will help pay for the mortgage. He was like, we're good. Like, I'm I financially, I am okay. Um, he was like, that's why I'm able to get approved for a $750,000 mortgage. So he told me that his money was in different savings accounts. He said he had an account with Chase Bank. He had an account with U.S. Bank. And he had an offshore account. This is what he told me. The offshore account, I was like, why? And he explained something about, oh, the U.S., <clears throat> excuse me, the U.S. imposes taxes on money when you have a certain amount in, in U.S. banks. He was like, so everybody knows that it's smart to have some money in an offshore account. Y'all, look, I live paycheck to paycheck. I Again, I was like, okay, that's whatever i said so you have the, so you have the money um to pay for to pay for a home i'm also holding in my hand a letter from chase saying that he was approved for seven hundred and fifty thousand. so i went off of what i saw so we contacted a realtor i won't say his name but man if he ever ever sees this tiktok i owe this man such an apology but we contacted a realtor in <clears throat> who was based in Cobb County because I was very adamant I wanted to move back to Marietta, Smyrna area um, in Cobb County, Georgia. He was fine with that. His whole attitude was, you know, you're going to be my wife, happy wife, happy life. So we met a realtor. I, I would find houses that I wanted to tour. Keep in mind that um, this was COVID. So at the time, we could not tour a home. It would have to it would have to be a virtual tour. So this particular realtor, we found a house in Douglasville, Georgia. Not Cobb County, but nevertheless, it's in Douglasville. I was fine with Douglasville. So we found a house in Douglasville, Georgia. The realtor did a um, a, a uh, FaceTime tour of the house. The house was, it was really a nice, it was a nice home. Four, five bedrooms, four baths. So we did a FaceTime tour of the home. And the home was listed, I believe, roughly 400 and something thousand. I really liked the house. I could see myself living there. I could see us living there. I could see us with the kid there. This is now April just for timeline purposes. This is April. So he really liked the house. He was like, you know what? We'll put an offer in on the house. He was like, if you like it, because again, it was COVID. We weren't going to be able to see the house in person because the family still live there. So he said, um, I'll put an offer in. We'll see if it's accepted. I said, okay. So he puts an offer in. He's telling me he put an offer in. I need to clarify some things he told me and the things that I actually saw. So for this house in Douglasville, he told me he was putting an offer in. The realtor would call me because one thing that the realtor told us, he was like, if the woman likes the house, typically the house is going to get bought. So he kind of dealt with me a bit more than he did my ex-husband. Um... And again, this is April 2020. This is before we got married. So at the time, he was my boyfriend. So the realtor was calling me and was like, hey, you know, I am I'm, I put the offer in. And what they're asking for um, is proof of funds. And I, and I didn't know any, I don't, I did not know anything at this time about buying a house. 
So I was like, hey, you probably need to talk to him because I'm not even listed on the mortgage. Like, from the paperwork I saw, it was only in his name. So he, um, he called him. I guess they talked. I was not there, um, but I'm assuming that they had talked. So the boyfriend is coming, my ex is coming home saying, yeah, I talked to so-and-so. I sent him over the paperwork. The offer was approved and <clears throat> they are going to try to do a virtual closing. First, we got to do an inspection. If the inspection goes all well, then we have to do a virtual closing. He t also told me that he put down earnest money on the home. He put down, I believe, 5000 He said, I, I just transferred the money over to the realtor's uh, account or whatever um, so that it could be earnest money for the house. So I'm just like, okay, great. He was like, so realistically, this is April. We should be able to get in that house um, by June. Okay, no problem. So... This is what he told me. About three or four days later, I get a phone call from the re from the realtor. And the realtor is like, hey, I'm just checking to see what you know what you guys want to do about that house. So I was confused. I'm at work. Um, and I said, Oh, I I was told that he put an offer in. And the realtor was like, he did? I didn't know that he put an offer in. And I said, well, why wouldn't you know? Like, he told me he put the offer in and he um, he had paid earnest money, $5,000 earnest money. And so the realtor was like, well, let me call him and find out what's going on with that because I didn't know anything about it. So red flag, of course. So I call him and, he's, and he, in true narcissistic nature he flips the script and he like goes off he's like cussing going off like he shouldn't excuse me I have the hiccups he shouldn't be calling you if he has a question he should call me because I'm the one that's on a mortgage he was like and now it's you know it's gonna be an issue and I said well did you put the offer in with him or not and he said no I did not put the offer in with him I put the offer in with a friend of mine who is a realtor so I can give him the business so I never heard, I did not hear from that realtor again so I was just like is the house under contract or is it not he was like yes the house is under contract this is what this is how crazy things work out about three days later on realtor.com I'm looking at the house because I was trying to figure out in my mind how I'm going to decorate. It shows the house is under contract. So, show my boyfriend. My boyfriend's like, I told you it was under contract. He was like, I, I, like, did you not believe me? And I ain't had the heart to say, hell no, I didn't believe you. <laughs> like, it seemed too good to be true. Um, but once I saw the house was under contract... I absolutely believe that, okay, this, it's under contract with him. Like, yeah, we're about to do inspection. We are about to move. Um, and so we had driven by the house because, again, keep in mind, the family's still living there. So we had driven by the house. At this point, he was like, I want us to start looking for furniture so that way we can go ahead and order it so when when it's time to move the furniture is ready because you know it takes like six to eight weeks sometimes um for furniture to be delivered if they don't have it in stock like he was he was very methodical and planning and saying this is what we need to do so we started going to home, home depot lowe's um because we had a printout of what the sellers were going to take they were going to take the appliances he had a printout let me be clear he had a printout so it said on there that they were going to take the appliances so we needed to get a new stove um new refrigerator new microwave all that stuff so we went to home depot and lowe's and i i went ham i chose all these new appliances and Here's where we get into the shopping. 